Hey everyone, it's Project SPC and I'm back today to talk about the One X player, but not the i7-1165 G7, not the 1185 G7 or the 95 G7, but today we're going to talk about the AMD 5700U unit straight from China. A big thanks to my Chinese friend, So let's just do a quick overview video between the two devices. Um, I've got games downloading here. I will have some gameplay for the AMD version here very shortly. I just got this like less than an hour ago. I've got games downloading. First list for Forza Horizon 5, so do expect some gameplay video here in the future. Let's go talk some of the differences between these two devices um, and get a comparison for where we are with this AMD device. So I just got this in the mail. I opened it up and I thought, wow, this looks identical to the Intel version. And on the outside, it is. I mean, weight-wise, it feels the same. Um, buttons, everything feels the same. It's got the same style ports. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that the box actually said 5700U, I probably would have thought I got an Intel version. But sure enough, AMD drivers downloaded, so this definitely is a 5700U. So between the two devices, Intel i7, 1165G7, We've got four cores, eight threads, 96 execution units. Intel XE is the new architecture for their integrated graphics, and it's game changer. It gets quite good performance on the games that do work, but not all games work. And that's the big problem with the Intel. It does make up for it with the Thunderbolt ports. Um, coming over here and looking at the AMD, we've got the 5700U. It's got eight cores, 16 threads, and Vega 8 graphics. Vega is a somewhat outdated architecture for the integrated graphics. However, it has a long-standing game compatibility. So you can expect any game that you can download, you can throw at this, and it will work, unlike the Intel XE graphics. So that's one of the good things about this. You've got wide game compatibility support. So games like Cold War, Vanguard, um, I know they just fixed the Warzone and... Um, uh, what is it black ops version over here or modern warfare version for this one um you got forza horizon 5 which is going to work beautifully on this which is what i'm downloading right now so a lot of the AAA titles that you have trouble on this you can play just fine on this device so that's where this device really has a appeal especially with the steam deck delay that's coming out so 5700u i'm really excited to uh test some games with this um, if you have any suggestions for games to play on this, please let me know. Um, let's talk about the turbo button. So everything else feels identical weight-wise, uh, button feel. Obviously, this doesn't have Thunderbolt on it. But let's talk about the turbo button here for a moment. The Intel version, if you hit the turbo button, um, you're going to go up to 28 watts TDP with 35 boost. And without, you're at 20 watts TDP with 28 boost. Let's take a look at what happens when we do the turbo on the AMD unit. So I've got Renoir mobile tuning. So I have turbo mode enabled right now and we can see we've got a PLZ, sorry, PL0, PL1, and a PL2. We're at 25 watts, 30 watts, and 35 watts. AMD has a little bit different structure than Intel with their TDP scheme. If I turn this off, and I close that, I have to open it again. Hang on one second, oops. We're gonna see the TDP is now at 15 for PL0, 20 for PL1, and 25 for PL2. So there's a little bit of a TDP difference between the two devices. Um, I still would like to test gameplay between the two devices so we can see what kind of performance we get on both turbo and non-turbo. And of course, I'm going to use my power control app to modify the TDP a little bit and see what other performances we can get, both on the low end and the high end. So like I said, if you have any game recommendations that you would like to see running on this, please leave that in the comments below. I'm gonna try and do as many games as I can. Um, these units are shipping in China and I'm hoping that it comes to the United States very soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for the gameplay videos I've got coming for this. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.